Scion Asset Management is a private investment company that was formed and is managed by American hedge fund manager Michael Burry. Michael Burry became well known after the subprime mortgage crisis of 2007 to 2010, as opposed to other super investors who succeeded by generating steady returns over a long period of time. Burry was one of the first investors to foresee the coming subprime mortgage crisis, and he made money by shorting the mortgage bond market. He is actually highly recognized for this. Trillions of dollars vanished from global markets as a result of the global financial crisis. Yet Michael Burry's Scion Capital was able to make tens of millions for its clients thanks to his intelligent analysis and investment. Michael Burry's recent public declaration of his bearish views on the market has captivated investors, leading them to question if he is once again identifying signals before the rest of the market. It's obvious that people value this man's thoughts and market judgments, and it's no secret that we're all interested in what he's doing with his portfolio and which stocks he plans to purchase in 2023. Hey, welcome to Stock Market Mate. Today we'll talk about Michael Burry and his latest bet on the Alibaba stock. Before we get into it, do like and subscribe to the channel to help us beat the YouTube algorithm. Now if you're done with that, let's get started. The 45-day window after the end of each quarter has just passed as of the time of recording. Thus, the 13F filings are now available. Below is a list of every modification made to Michael Burry's portfolio in the fourth quarter of 2022. As you can see, Geo Group, a private prison corporation that made up 37% of his portfolio in the previous quarter, has now been reduced to 25%. He also cut 70% of his position in curated retail, his number two stock in the previous quarter, and totally sold out of Core Civic, the other private jail company he had purchased in the third quarter. But now that that has been spoken, look at what enters the door. He purchased 100,000 shares of Black Knight, 100,000 shares of Coherent, 50,000 shares of Alibaba, 70,000 shares of JD, and 100,000 shares each of Wolverine Worldwide, MGM Resorts, and SkyWest. So let's get talking. We are aware that it is not even the largest recent acquisition in his portfolio, but we feel it is important to focus on Alibaba and JD.com. It's not the first time that Michael Burry has purchased Chinese technology. He purchased JD.com in the first quarter of 2019 and Alibaba in the second quarter. He is therefore not unfamiliar with these industries, and if we were to speculate, we believe that this decline, when JD's shares fell by 37% in Q4, would have prompted him to reinvest in the company. With Alibaba's shares falling to about 64 in Q4, it was likely the same situation locally. Hence, in our opinion, the best course of action here would be to just take advantage of the extremely favorable short-term price. We believe Burry has probably perfectly nailed the timing for these stocks, and it's only fair to express that. You can see that they both have had extremely strong ball runs since. So from these two portfolio adjustments, what do we personally take away most? So to be honest, we believe the reason is simply that Michael Burry feels comfortable purchasing Chinese technology. You know that there has been concern over prospective deer listings, so why not add your name to the long list of stellar investors who have reached the same conclusion despite all of the media reports? There were worries about questionable accounting last year, as well as more widespread worries about the tension between the US and China. Now that the PCAOB has the ability to review the audit data from these Chinese corporations, we do know that much of that news is largely behind us. That was a significant step, but the Chinese economy and the stock market in general continue to raise many questions. You are aware that in 2022, economic growth dropped from 8.4% to barely 3%, partly as a result of their stringent secret measures. Nonetheless, given the weakening global demand and rising geopolitical instability noted in this research paper, there is still cause for concern. Nevertheless, as we just mentioned, what's been truly fascinating is seeing the slew of elite investors, such as Charlie Munger, Monash Spear, Ray Dalio, Bill Miller, and others, actually step up to the play and invest in Chinese tech during this moment. Michael Burry can now be added to that list. However, we believe that when it comes to these Chinese companies, you really do need to have a very long-term investing perspective in order to take them into consideration. Turning to Simply Wall Street, we can see that Alibaba is nearly trading near fair value according to their discounted cash flow model, based only on their present performance and expectations. However, strangely, they do point out that JD.com appears to be extremely undervalued at the moment. Tencent also comes up around fair value. Having said that, it goes without saying that you shouldn't just go out and buy it. These tools merely provide you with a tip about potential businesses you might like to venture into and further investigate in this exercise in idea development. We have Coherent Corp, accounting for 11.31% of the portfolio as of Burry's two larger purchases in Q4. Coherent is a $6 billion firm that is listed on the NASDAQ. Coherent is the new name for the company, which was formerly known as 2to6 Incorporated. Three categories of products, 
Semiconductors, networking hardware, and lasers are the core of their business. Although we don't claim to be experts in their sector of line of work, it's interesting to note that the stock was down almost 60% from its top in 2021. At the middle of last year, the purchase of Coherent was finalized after they made their intention known. But the interesting thing is that Michael Burry seems to have timed the market perfectly yet again. Naturally, we oppose the market timing, but Burry seems to have hit the nail on the head, as the shares have been on an incredible rampage since late last year. He is actually sitting on a gain of nearly 40% if he still holds the shares today. Yet what makes Simply Wall Street's discounted cash flow so intriguing is that it seems to indicate that this company is actually undervalued for where they are right now. Bury may be purchasing this play with a longer-term thesis about the future of semiconductor manufacturing and laser technology, or he may be doing so as a simple short-term trade. Only time will tell. Last but not least, his third significant purchase was in Black Knight Incorporated, which is now taking nearly 20% of the second spot in his portfolio. Black Knight is a business that sells software that banks and mortgage lenders can use to simplify the home loan application process. Their software aids in the processing and managing mortgage loans. They support the handling of customer papers and information and ensure that every step of the process is secure and complies with laws. That's all well and good, but you should know that Black Knight is now being sought after by Intercontinental Exchange. Therefore, not many investors are purchasing it for the company at this time. Although the market capitalization of Black Knight is currently $9.92 billion, they are committed to purchasing it for a price of $13.1 billion. If the deal goes through, there may be a 32% increase in value, but regulators are now preventing it because they are worried about antitrust. Hence, we may examine the current state of business in Wall Street and perform some analysis. Yet, Burry would ultimately bet on this business with the assumption that the transaction would go through without a hitch. We'll simply have to wait and see if this one turns out to be another wise choice by Michael Burry, since the resolution is anticipated in the coming months. Overall, those are Burry's major purchases going into 2023. Having said that, there are a few things about Michael Burry's 13F filings to be mindful of. The 13F filings only reveal us his US equity positions, as we first wanted to remind you. You cannot tell how much money he has on hand or the value of his short positions from this information. Take a look at this, for instance. As you can see, his portfolio is worth $165 million in the first quarter of 2022. To begin 2023, he had $165 million invested. Since he only had $47 million invested, he actually has roughly $118 million that are not now long-term investments in US stocks. This might represent short bets or simply be sitting in cash, which offers an unexpectedly grim picture of what Burry genuinely believes will happen to the market. From prior tweets, it is clear that Burry has an extremely pessimistic view of the market. He issued a tweet on February 1 urging people to sell and a few days before, he compared the current market environment to the internet boom, suggesting that we are likely only halfway down the decline. The point is that, we should use caution when reading these 13 Fs and should only use them as suggestions for companies about which we might want to conduct a little additional research. Michael Burry should also be taken into account for the fact that, while being value-oriented, he enjoys switching positions a lot. He has a history of erratic 13Fs, therefore there is a good chance that 45 days later, the portfolio will have undergone major changes. Well, that's about it for today's video. If you like our content, or if this helped you, do give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you at the next one. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to watch one of these two videos right here. Enjoy!